Hello, my name is Rainer Hanekamp. This is Engine News with the latest updates from the Angular community in 100 seconds every week. Angular 17.2 is out. Due to the new features, a component is now almost a signal component. We still require Zone.js and Event Emitter, but quite a lot of the component API works now with a signal. The model function creates a writable signal and presents itself to the parent component as two-way binding. A parent applies the banana box syntax to it, which also got an extension. Any banana box now also works with a writable signal. As planned for few child and content child, we have now also a signal-based alternative. They are also functions and work without the decorator. The model and the query have a variation with a required function. This is something we have already seen with the signal input. Required removes the undefined from the signal's underlying type. We switch from a potential compilation to a runtime error. It is our responsibility now that we don't directly access the signal too early. We can use after next render. In general, if we access the signal in the template or via a computed or effect, we are on the safe side. Other features in 17.2 are support for Bunches, an alternative to Node.js, the ng-optimized image directive, supports now a loader for Netlify, the DevTools got an upgrade for server-side rendering and we have experimental support for Material 3. For the first time, we have also a written confirmation that the Angular team wants to make RxJS optional. That will require huge changes to the Angular API and, if we want, also to our existing code base. That's it. Wishing you a nice week. See you in the next episode. Goodbye.